In this quick Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how to reuse your favorite assets between multiple Unity projects. These instructions work for Mac, Linux, and PC. Unity is a great game engine on its own. It comes with tons of useful features right out of the box, but there are a few third-party assets that I personally can't live without. For starters, nSubstitute, Zenject, and even UniRx are just a few of the .NET class libraries that I use in almost every project. And Odin Inspector is an absolute must-have from the Unity Asset Store. But having to manually download and install each of these assets every time I roll up a new project or throw together a prototype can become tedious. And in those rare instances when I don't have internet access, I'm completely stuck without them. So here's one quick way to ensure that your favorite assets are always available at the click of a mouse. First, make sure that all of your assets are in your asset directory, just the way you want them. I like to keep my assets under the plugins directory. Then click assets and then export package. Now we can check to make sure that all of our packages are included. And if they are, we can click export. For now, I'm just going to save the package to my downloads folder. Now we can create a new Unity project. I'll pretend I'm prototyping an idea I have for a platformer and name the project Platformer Prototype 2. When the project loads, click Assets, Import Package, and then Custom Package. I'll select the one that I just saved. You can see all of our assets listed in the package. So we can select Import, and voila! My favorite assets have been imported into the project. Now this is great and all, but we can actually take this a step further. Wouldn't it be great if our custom package was included in Unity's standard asset menu? We can actually do this pretty easily. All we have to do is copy our package and paste it in the standard assets folder of our Unity install directory. I've included the paths for Linux, Mac, and PC in the description. Now we can easily access our package from Unity's context menu. Although you'll want to keep a copy saved just in case a newer version of Unity overwrites your package. And that's it! If you found this quick Unity tutorial helpful, please leave a like on this video and a comment letting me know what you thought. And for more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe with notifications on. And if you want to join a growing community of Unity developers, check out the Infallible Code public Discord server. Thanks for watching.